should we believe in the existence of aliens? Since the creation of mankind, this has been one of the greatest mysteries. Humans have long questioned the existence of alien life. Where do they live, if they exist at all? What would they look like? Are they attempting to communicate with us, in the same way that we are attempting to communicate with them? These are some of the questions that constantly strike our minds. Some people in the world believe that life can only exist on Earth and argue that aliens really wouldn't exist. We space enthusiasts are simply waiting for the day when humanity will be able to decipher the first alien signal or the day when a space agency will publicly recognize the existence of aliens. Scientists are spending billions and billions of dollars to answer these questions. Luck hasn't been on our side despite lots of attempts and research. But everything is about to change thanks to the newest space observatory. The riddle of the unidentified artificial lights on Proxima b may finally be solved by the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, an engineering marvel, and an exhibition work of craftsmanship, is about to change everything. What will James Webb see when it focuses on the exoplanet? How will our perception of the universe alter as a result of the discovery? Watch the video with bated breath, because things are about to become serious. An exoplanet is any planet beyond our solar system. Most orbit other stars, but free-floating exoplanets, called rogue planets, orbit the galactic center and are untethered to any star. In the last two decades, thousands of exoplanets have been found largely with NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. These planets range greatly in size and orbit. Some of them are enormous planets that are incredibly close to their parent stars. Some are icy, while others are rocky. But NASA and other space agencies are seeking a very special type of planet. One that is the same size as Earth and orbits a sun-like star in the habitable zone. The habitable zone is the region of a planet's distance from a star where its temperature permits liquid water seas, which are necessary for life on Earth. The habitable zone was initially defined based on simple thermal equilibrium. But modern estimates take into account a wide range of factors including the greenhouse effect of a planet's atmosphere. Because of this, a habitable zone's borders are loosely defined. Such a planet may be orbiting Proxima Centauri, according to an announcement made by astronomers in August 2016. The newly discovered world, known as Proxima b, is around 1.3 times as big as the Earth, which suggests that the exoplanet is a rocky world, according to researchers. The planet is only 4.7 million miles or 7.5 million kilometers from its host star and is also in the habitable zone of the star. It completes one orbit every 11.2 Earth days. It seems that the exoplanet is probably tidally locked, which means that it always exposes the same sign to its host star, just like the Moon only shows one face to Earth. How were these exoplanets discovered in the first place? The Kepler Space Telescope launched in 2009, was responsible for finding the majority of exoplanets. Kepler had relied on a pretty straightforward way to discover new planets in the universe, which involved waiting for an exoplanet to pass in front of its host star. As the planet partially blocks the star's surface during the transit, the star's brightness would dim, revealing the existence of an exoplanet. The method became popular and was widely known as the transit method henceforth. Kepler was eventually shut down by NASA on October 18, 2018. NASA reported that the telescope had used up all of its energy resources. After the telescope's nine-year service, the mission was discontinued. Over the course of its lifespan, Kepler examined 530,506 stars and found 2,662 exoplanets. The hunt will now be pursued by its successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, which promises to unlock some of the biggest cosmic mysteries and scientific breakthroughs. But how can the transit method detect aliens? Light is split into wavelengths that correspond to various colors. It is possible to determine the exoplanet's atmospheric composition when a transit is detected at several wavelengths. For instance, since water molecules efficiently absorb light at infrared wavelengths, the planet seems larger because a greater percentage of light from the star is blocked by the atmosphere. 
the atmosphere's temperature, and the presence of clouds can both be determined in a similar manner. A transiting planet might also go behind its star. Scientists call this phenomenon a secondary eclipse. While the transit approach is more sensitive to cloud presence, the secondary eclipse technique gives additional information about the atmospheric temperature. How will JWST prove the existence of aliens? Our nearest nearby star is Proxima Centauri, which is around four light years away. Proxima Centauri has its own group of planets around it, just like our Sun does. Among the planets is Proxima b. Scientists have been fascinated by this exoplanet ever since it was found in 2016. Additionally, Proxima c and Proxima d have been found by researchers, albeit Proxima d has not yet been verified. Proxima b has garnered a lot of interest and with good cause. The planet may have liquid water and even life because it orbits in the habitable zone of its star right in the center. Proxima b could be both rocky, terrestrial planet like Earth and have liquid water due to its mass, which is similar to that of Earth. Despite being close to our solar system, Proxima b revolves around a star that is significantly fainter and less massive than the Sun. The exoplanet has a light side and a dark side, with one side constantly facing the star and the other always facing away since it is tidally locked and rotates synchronously with its star. It's also unknown whether Proxima b has an atmosphere. However, if Proxima b does have an atmosphere, the basic components that are required for the emergence of the biochemical cycles that constitute life like water, carbon dioxide and rock could all be present and might be interacting on the planet's surface. The planet orbits its star once every 11 Earth days while being extremely close to it. The temperature on the planet's surface might range between minus 90 and 30 degrees Celsius or minus 130 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. If Proxima b is inhabited by aliens, it's thought unlikely that life could arise on the day side because of a steady stream of powerful radiation from its host star. The reasoning is that Proxima b orbits the Sun at a distance of only 4.5 million miles, or just a tenth of the distance, Mercury travels when it is closest to the Sun. Radio signals have already been detected from the area around Proxima b. However, radio astronomers assume that while radio signals have already been picked up from the Proxima b region, they were probably merely noise from other sources. Therefore, any civilization that inhabits the exoplanet may need to deploy strong mirrors or use extremely brilliant LED-style lights to illuminate their cities because the side of the exoplanet that is free from radiation is constantly dark. If we use the correct tool, it can assist us in finding them. The JWST might be set up to look for Proxima b's LED light, according to scientists. They anticipate that they will be able to identify this artificial light if it exists by utilizing the near-infrared instrument on the James Webb Telescope and looking for the telltale signals of LED light waves in the light from the planet and its host star. By calculating the light curves from the planet and its host star, the scientists explored the possibility of finding artificial light on Proxima b's dark side. These scientists considered two different scenarios. Artificial illumination, with the same spectrum as commonly used LED on Earth, and a narrower spectrum that leads to the same proportion of light as the total artificial illumination on Earth. They learned that the JWST would be able to pick up artificial lights similar to LED that make up 5% of stellar power. James Webb will be able to define the planet's atmosphere if it is able to identify the narrowband light characteristic of LED bulbs. To evaluate whether or not the light curves match those of an LED light source, researchers can use the devices on the observatory to measure the amount of energy that is transported around the planet. Aside from conventional LED that are 500 times more powerful than those found on Earth right now, the JWST will be able to demonstrate the existence of artificial illumination that is of an equivalent size to that of our planet. The Webb Telescope will offer unprecedentedly detailed observations over a broad range of wavelengths thanks to its 6.5-meter mirror, which is larger than Hubble's 2.4-meter mirror. Nearest or near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph which is a Canadian instrument, will be one of four that will observe in the infrared range and describe the atmospheres of a variety of exoplanets. The Webb Telescope will make it possible to use the mapping techniques at our disposal. Thanks to these measurements, we will be able to learn more about atmospheric processes. What are your thoughts about it? 
Do you think Proxima B is inhabited by aliens? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I hope you really liked it. Consider subscribing to the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.